Good afternoon, everyone. This is an update on the Tropics for October 25th, 2022. We're going to be talking about the disturbances currently in the Atlantic and especially that one tropical wave that is entering the Caribbean that could potentially form into Tropical Storm Lisa sometime in the next week or so. So we are going to get right into it here. And as you can see, looking at the satellite imagery for the Atlantic, we do have a uh, tropical system uh, that is uh, currently moving through right near the Bermuda area we also have a uh, area of to watch right here that is uh, kind of just east of the Bahamas north of Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic we also have an area to watch over here now in the Caribbean. This is what we were talking about yesterday. That we could possibly see Lisa somewhere in these three areas that we are watching right now. We have a uh, also a precipitation system and also a storm system moving through the United States. This is bringing some storms down here in the south. And it's also bringing a lot of rain for the Midwestern regions uh, throughout today and even into tomorrow. Now here's the National Hurricane Center. As you can see again. In those three areas we are watching right now uh that one orange x that is a disturbance has a 40 percent chance now of cyclone formation in five days so a lower chance because it is really not developing as expected by the national hurricane center we also have another disturbance just below that a 30 percent chance of a cyclone formation of five days that's just an area to watch and we also have an area to watch down here again south of puerto rico that is a 20 percent chance of development within the next five days of a possible tropical system uh, just west of Barbados and just to the northwest there of uh, Trinidad and Tobago. As I was just making this, as you can see, we just got the 2 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center and uh, they are all yellow now. So that one disturbance now is a 20% chance uh, right near the Bermuda area. And as you can see, we have a central area of low pressure right here, just to the northeast of the Turks and Caicos, just north of Dominican Republic as well. This is expected to be heading northward in this area of development, possibly within the next five days. A third percent chance still exists for that area in the uh, same area to watch is still the same uh, from the last advisory now looking at the good old gfs model like we always do we're going to go a little bit behind here as you can see there's that one disturbance uh, that did apparently have a decent chance of development now it pretty much has no chance of development right there north of bermuda and as we move forward with time we don't really see much development with that one disturbance that one area to watch over here as you can see, some circulation could definitely exist with this around Friday. Um, as you can see, the circulation definitely gets ex itself together a little bit until it kind of spins out there uh, in the southwestern Atlantic. Now we get that one uh, tropical wave that really gets going, apparently, really starts to form here this upcoming weekend. As you can see, there it is. It makes an appearance around hour 120. So this is going to be 6 a.m. of Sunday of Central Time. And this is going to be just west of Trinidad and tobago when we do see a lot of precipitation start to wrap around this this is possibly when we might see that development of possible tropicals from lisa uh, as you can see as we head into monday uh this stays still on some weak circulation this might when we see a higher chance of development possible if if this even decides to develop into a tropical storm as you can see from the gfs model it really gets to act together around midweek or so next week and uh really drops that low pressure system down to a 990 millibar by november 3rd and this is going to be late next week so this is going to be quite far out from now and this is probably not as accurate as we head further and further further out um, but as you can see uh, definitely doesn't have that heading into the Gulf of Mexico uh, from today's run uh, from that GFS model it just has that developing into a tropical storm at least south of the Dominican Republic it's just south of Haiti as well and kind of spins out uh, and then it apparently heads towards Puerto Rico as we head through our 300 so interesting run from today uh, and very similar to yesterday's run except it really didn't have it going in deeper into the caribbean as of right now but we're going to look at the european model see what its opinion is on this and look at the zero zero z run uh the european model definitely doesn't really uh, pick up on this one disturbance it definitely picks up on that one area to watch over here but really doesn't have much development at all it definitely shows that low pressure system but again 
how much of them are all from uh, the European model. Now, the CMC model, on the other hand, really picks up on the uh, one tropical wave in the Caribbean. As you can see, that uh, even makes impacts as a possible hurricane into Central America, right near Honduras as well. There's definitely multiple areas this could definitely impact, uh, but uh, as of right now, it's really uh, hard to predict uh, where this is going to go or even if it is going to develop according to some of these models here. As you can see, uh, I do assume that the ICON model does pick up on this. So as you can see, this definitely uh, starts to really develop around Halloween. South of Haiti there definitely picks up on a lot of that circulation uh, and a lot of precipitation around that as well. Uh, really doesn't develop into a tropical storm, but ICON model, as you can see, uh, picks it up and shows it heading westward. So two of these models have it going westward, and the GFS model is kind of do its thing, doing its own thing as of right now but the 18z run of the gfs as you can see has a heading a lot more westward here except it does head northward which uh we're just going to completely ignore that run because that is a very ridiculous run by the gfs model so right now we're going to keep the gfs model to the side we're going to pay more attention to the euro and the icon and even the cmc model but if the gfs model decides to have an interesting and actual realistic uh model run uh we might pay more attention to it for right now but again these models are definitely so showing some sort of development here in a very late october going to early november now looking at wind shear for this area as you can see uh for this one area we are watching there's definitely some southern wind shear to that uh one low pressure system that's kind of keeping it down low into that very weak low pressure stage but we do have a pocket of a favorable area of wind shear uh and that might lead it to developing a little bit of that circulation we do have kind of a dip here and this is uh we don't really have a located central pressure of the one disturbance currently that we're watching it's somewhere in here uh, that is going to be headed through the caribbean and barbados trinidad and tobago is definitely going to see a lot of rainfall from this we have a dip here of uh, low wind shear which is favorable wind shear as you can see another dip of low wind shear which is only going to escalate things and if we get a good pocket of low wind shear this is definitely going to have a good chance of developing into a tropical storm even lisa have that named storm here and possibly possibly late uh, early november or even uh, later october even if from a week from now we could possibly see tropicals from lisa if the conditions are right in that favor time um uh, and looking at vorticity as you can see really not much vorticity at all that we're looking at from uh, the one area we're watching so we really haven't located a tropical wavelet yet here uh, in this uh, physical area but there's that one tropical wave up here you can very clearly see, see the circulation of satellite just not a lot of rain shower activity happening around that one disturbance and uh, again that national hurricane center was definitely very confident in this developing into a possibly tropical depression or tropical storm because of that circulation they spotted on satellite imagery um, but due to the amount of shear in this area it's really tearing it apart but you can very clearly see the vorticity uh, of this system on satellite imagery right near Bermuda. Now again, they did locate that one invest, that one disturbance uh, that is uh, currently in this location right here, maybe a little further southeast, uh, but it's somewhere in the area and it is going to be headed north in the area to watch, in the area to watch somewhere in that sort of area there. So we are going to have to watch it as well, but for the main concern right now, we have definitely that area to watch down here in the Caribbean. So we would definitely will keep you updated on that via YouTube and even social media. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the, to the channel if you are new. Turn up post notifications so you don't miss a single upload a live stream on the channel. Like the video, share this with friends and family. Uh, and if anyone lives in the Caribbean that might be impacted by this, share this video, share this information with them to keep them updated as well. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.